Hey friends, Megan here and I'm Jessie. Jessie, how was your camping trip with your family? Oh man, it was so fun, Megan. We roasted marshmallows, we played games, we slept in a tent. The only thing I didn't like was the hike. Oh, sounds like an amazing time. Why didn't you like the hike? It was so long. We locked and locked and locked and locked and locked and locked and locked. My feet felt like they were gonna fall off. <laughs> I wonder if the uh, people in today's Bible story felt like their feet were gonna fall off. Why would they feel like that? What? Was there a hike in today's Bible story? <laughs> uh, kind of, but not a fun hike. God's people were captured. They had to leave their homes and walk a long, long way to another country. Listen to the story and hear all about it. God had done so many things for the Israelites. Do you remember that God saved his people from Egypt when they were slaves? He sent Moses to lead them. God took care of them and gave them a new home. But after a while, the people forgot about God. Instead of worshiping God, they worshiped other things. This is exactly what God told them not to do. God had warned his people. He sent men called prophets to tell them to stop doing wrong things. Did the people listen to the prophets? No. In fact, they did even more wrong things. Hoshea became the king of Israel. Israel was a kingdom in the north. King Hoshea did many evil things. At this time, the people of Assyria were enemies of Israel. Assyria's army was bigger and stronger than Israel's army. So Hoshea gave money to the king of Assyria to leave Israel alone. One day, Hoshea stopped giving money to the king of Assyria. Instead, he asked the king of Egypt to protect Israel. <laughs> this made the king of Assyria mad. He liked getting money from Hoshea. So the king of Assyria attacked Israel with his big, strong army, and Hoshea was thrown into prison. The king of Assyria took over the city, and the army made all of the people leave their homes. They started walking. They walked and walked and walked. The army made the people of Israel walk far away to the land of Assyria. What a sad thing to happen to the people of Israel. God's people were prisoners in another land, but God was still in control. God let his people be taken away from their homes because they had sinned. They had broken God's laws and had forgotten about him. This is why God said, enough. His people were hurting him and themselves by continuing to sin. God loved his people too much to let them keep living this way. So he let their enemies attack them and take them far away from home. God's people disobeyed him over and over again. So God punished them and sent them away from their home. We disobey God over and over again too, but Jesus took our punishment for us. People who trust in Jesus will never be sent away, but have a home with God forever. <laughs>